So I guess in that case, back to the Precursor Ruins, maybe. Considering I was able to get to about the end of this one. I wasn't able to finish it. Mostly because the end boss completely whipped me. But that was back when I had much, much lesser armor than what I do now. I should be able to handle it. Only question is, should I do additional looting for, like, precursor stuff and whatnot? A? A? That's not my ship AI. Bullshit. I set mine to be an adorable serval. I'm disowning my ship AI. Ow. Okay, so I think they uh, afflicted me with a feral bite of some kind. Either that, or something in the environment is interfering. I think it's a feral bite-esque status. Come on! Yeah, if anything, that bite kind of proved it. I love this spear. That's fairly powerful too. Kill you. What? That's it. Everything dies. Fall up. Or not. Just in case, do some environmental milling. Because for whatever reason, a whole bunch of the blocks here are millable and by. Mostly because there's a spoder here. Out, get some pus. Mill background wall because ha ha ha. Now that because radioactive soil, uh, I believe I can mill for material. Why am I not able to get up there? Come on. Can't believe I had to rely on this thing. But then again, I do have a grappling hook. I'll probably just switch that at any point in time. Trivialize the world.
Hey, don't judge. If Bracken's just gonna let me tear up a small part, part of the background, I will do it. That's not being a mad looter. Hey. What is being a mad looter? Would probably be murking the both of you. Seriously? <sighs> there we go. Just walk through here. I won't suffer any type of radiation damage whatsoever. I don't trust that. Kill that out. Deal with the bat. You know what? Fly yourself into my spear. That sounds like a brilliant decision. Well, how do you get down there? I think you get down there eventually, right? I'm trying to remember, but I can't. In my defense, it has been a while since I've done this mission. I planted a bomb game. Deal with you right quick. Deal with you right quick. Right, that's, uh, Molten Metal. So I can't do anything about that. Leave you to your own devices. I can't exactly get multiple duplicates of the uh, precursor sphere, so yay. It'd be nice if you could, but then again, it doesn't exactly make any practical sense. Okay, retreat time. Really? There we go. And some free swag for that too. Switch for that door, or no, I do not. Um, there we go.
So I'm gonna give you a quick poke or three. Or two. Either. Shields up to heal, just block him with electrical damage. Deal with you, safe distance. spend a little more time healing. Fear of dying, likely, but we'll see. Quantum fluid, teleporter core, psychic like matter, always nice. And also buton. Shield. Deal with the turret. Wow, look at all those twos and threes you're dealing. Meanwhile, six. six. Fifty-seven at twenty-one. Does not stand a chance. Now let's look at you guys. Two which? Portal. Huzzah. What? Mm. Okay, you know what? Fine. You have wall hacks. Rude. Fine then, if you're gonna fight me with wall hacks. Come on. I summon portal. Lay waste to my foe. Mwahaha. You are dead. The fact that you survived that firepower says much of your prowess. More like it says a lot about why I currently have to fight. Oh. 
but more pressingly, I need what's in here. Because there are five chests here that I can loot, and I'm not leaving until I get everything. Flux core. Cool. Now to deal with the turret. Uh, just in case. Reload this. And off we go to the next objective. Can't really interact with that. Next set of objectives. I didn't realize you could toggle this. Cool. But more pressingly, gotta deal with you. You know what? Oh, there's a solid wall there. Oops. Ignore that. Deal with you from behind a closed door. Get a couple more materials. Pew. There we go. Toggle the button, and that opens up everything. Probably not a good idea. Eh, you know what? Toggle everything. Deal with it. Portal will completely and utterly wreck you all. And who's over here? I think the systems elsewhere in the facility. Backtrack and see what we've opened up. Okay, then fine. But first, you. Uh. I missed. There we go. Is literally your only gun a uh, generator?
Great words to you, that's kind of pathetic. But you know what? You can live. Okay, you know what? You're not fun to fight. Die by portal. Now I can get in the air. And what do we have here? A switch of some kind. This thing, which has... A codex in it. A long ass winding tunnel, which I wish I could fast forward through, but I can't because this ain't an emulator or post processing. Uh, but even then, I don't really do much editing on the. Uh, the VODs when I port them. I feel like that defeats the purpose of this emulating being live. There's a random Hone Lunari in there. I mean, I'll take it. Precursor battery? Oh, that's gonna be a really useful recipe. What else have I been picking up lately? Precursor machine, precursor lights, a pillar. Obelisk. This pod stores energy! Eh. Decidedly meh. May or may not contain a functioning parachute. Eh. Hyper targeting chip, blood drainer, more precursor stuff so I can junk. Forgot to open up the loot box. Time to see what type of terrible thing I'll get under minerals. Well, technically, I wasn't wrong. But seriously? Jeans? If jeans are the common stuff, and actual ores are the uncommon, what's the... What's the, like, uh... Five-star loot on this thing? Maybe when I don't have a use for Ancient Essence, I'll just buy a bunch of loot boxes and open them. Probably in tandem with reading lore stuff, because something tells me I'm going to be doing another uh, lore reading episode at some point in the future. Such if I am going to be doing that, I will announce it ahead of time. I feel like that's only fair. It will also be on a day that's uh, outside normal stream schedule. You know, because uh, these streams are meant to be for pro actual progress being made within the game, not grinding. There. 
I don't exactly know how I get down there. So that further Edo. Can't get in there. Don't glitch. Great. I'm just gonna let this thing attack me for LZs because it really doesn't stand a chance. See? Although, just because it doesn't stand a chance doesn't mean I shouldn't fight back. Besides, this will at least incentivize me to, uh, figure out how to properly fight. At least fight within Starbound. Because honestly, I feel like I'm an absolutely terrible fighter. Can't hit me. And there is swagger there, but first, a turret. You win the grand prize a bullet. I didn't see what was in there. Another recipe for precursor battery. Yoink. Shield up so I can recover some health. Lock you until you die. And looking at it, I need some food. Chicken's gonna last the longest. This is starting to go bad. That's my fault. That's my fault in the end. Since I'm not using a thermal shell, I guess I'm not immune to lava. That's my fault! I'll fully take the blame on that one. I hope I'm not gonna have to go all the way back there. Like, fight through everything and whatnot. I think I'm gonna have to. Oh my gosh. No, wait. Doesn't look like I'll have to do much in the way of fighting, per se. It's just gonna be walking all the way back. That's good. That's bearable. Roll through here. Apparently I can get in here now. A good checkpoint. Another honed Lunari crystal. I'm starting to need that recipe a little less and less. Hmm. Crap. Bam. 
All right. Let's see if I can't roll across the top of that. No. And hook in. There we go. If I remember correctly, there should be a switch down there. Yep, there is. That'll drain the lava. I think that's it all. Like a glitch beehive? Weird. Okay. Nothing important. Actually, no way the switch opened up this. Oh boy. Glocky wants... Oh my day. Hyperion Thinger. Fairly powerful. There. Yeah, just power through. Get rid of the turret. Crap. Portal. Portal will absolutely wreck these guys. Drop down. Block. And this door requires a bomb. Or at least some type of explosive force. And what do we have in the chest? A drill that's kind of useless, and a bunch of other things. that switch do? Just disable the uh, security? I think so. So now let's see what's over this way. Another thing I need to blow up. That'll at least work. Talk with that. Head down. Whoop. 
Honestly, I'm just wanting to deal with these things with spear for healthies. If I was actually trying, I'd use the mace ball, because that is better reach. If I was really, really trying, I'd use a gun. Because seriously, Starbound without guns is kind of like... I don't know, pancakes without whipped cream? You could have it like that, but... And the dirty part of my mind is saying pancakes exist solely for your cream. Uh, me? Shut up. Shut up before you say something even more damning. Is that a precursor upgrade station? I think it is. Should probably go and investigate, but... And what the heck. First. The longest pathway in history, which I wish I could fast forward. <sighs> rolling, 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 and rolling, rolling away. Hello there, Arabird. How's it going? The research grind is kind of real right now, <laughs> but it's my fault in the end, so I can't really say much. I think that's my sign to back up. Whoop. Hide for a few seconds, shed aggro. <sighs> yeah, like, I swear, something's glitching with the, uh... This... Finger is a computer. It's like, I swear I have enough power, just it's like, hey, guess what? I need more power. I feel like that it's a programming oversight or something at this point. You know? Eh, uh, yeah. I mean, there are alternatives that can be used, to an extent, but honestly, if you want research at any appreciable clip, you need a reactor. And one more Glock. There we go. 